Hey everyone, and we're back. My name is Muscar Tenger, and we are playing some Mass Effect. We are on Ilos. We are on the end of the game. We must defeat Saturn. Let's defeat Saturn. Hi there. What you doing? What you doing up there? Who said you could be up there? Itchy, itchy ear. Itchy, itchy ear. This place still has power. It yeah. must be running off its own generator. I bet this is the command center for the entire complex. Saren's troops must have sealed the doors from here after he went inside. We'll have to figure out how to disengage the security lockdown if we ever want to get inside that bunker. Shouldn't be that hard. And there's gonna be a lot of thingies here, isn't there? Yep. Ow! Okay, you guys have fun. I'm gonna... I'm gonna use a singular- oh, balls. I was gonna say, I would use a singularity, but... Singularity! I need to decrypt these guys. Boof, 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 boof. So I don't want them waking up. The less armatures wake up, the better. Oh, hi there. Yeah, my armature. Bop, 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 bop. And last, but certainly not least. Bup, 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 bup. Okay, the armatures are on my side. Come with me, Geth. Let us destroy everything. No, sadly, you can't take the armatures with you. Though it is kind of weird that you can turn on the armatures and they will fight for you. Because aren't Geth pretty much like sentient? They're this weird mixture of VI and AI. When you get enough Geth together, they become an AI. Armor! Damping! Armor! Anything here? Security panel! Come on. Saren's already got a head start. We have to go find him before hey. he reaches the conduit. I've got Unless backstory he's already found to do. It, then we're just walking into a trap. That's a chance we'll have to take. Hold on. Something's happening. Too late. Unable to... Invading fleets. No escape. Sounds like some kind of message, but I don't recognize the language. Well, I it's do! It's probably in Prothean. This recording must be 50,000 years old. No wonder we can't understand it. You can't understand it? The message is all broken up, but I recognize some of the words. It's a warning against the Reaper invasion. Incredible! The cipher must have transferred an understanding of the Prothean language into your mind. Because that's how that works, right? Not safe. Seek refuge. Inside the archives. What's it saying? Can you make out anything useful? Fault Reapers. The Citadel. Overwhelmed. The Citadel Fault gets attacked. Act of desperation. The conduit. All is lost. It's too damaged. It said something about the conduit, but it's too degraded to help. We should go. Cannot be stopped. Sure can. Cannot I'll stop it. Stopped. Sure I can. I can stop it. It's not that bad. It's not that bad. I mean, just t say Mass Effect 2 and 3. Ending of 3, no matter what you do. Well, there is one thing that you do that causes the, uh, everything to explode in your face and everybody to die, but... There's only just the one ending where the Reapers win. For now. 
All the other enemies, they die somehow. Poor change. Okay, open the elevator. Then we're gonna have to go all the way back up to where the Mako is. Unless this gives us a shortcut. If it gives us a shortcut, I will be very happy. As long as it doesn't auto-save, Bobby. Everything should be fine. Hello? Hi! Wait a minute. Wait, what? Did I miss something important? I did. So don't mind me while I'm running around trying to figure out what I missed in that room. That was probably very important. Probably missed a single- I think this happens every single time I play this game. At this point, I'm just like, where am I going? What am I doing? What What's life? Don't look all the way- I do have to walk all the way back. I'll be right back, guys! into the creepy underground bunker. Good idea. The I do. The power will come in handy. I didn't think just walking to it would cause it to open. I guess I did something right. Now it's time for explosions, right? More explosions. I thought would have set some kind of trap or ambush. They must have been in too much of a hurry. Well, that's or good for us. just haven't run into it yet. Don't jinx it, Tolly. Don't. Don't even try. That is a lot of tubes. Lot a lot of tubes. Death. Death. What are all those things on the wall? Some kind of containers? Something like that. They look like stasis pods. Full of skeletons. Actually, at this point, not even skeletons. They're either fossils or dust. Oh, death. I was like, oh wait, death. Okay, he survived. You did. And I went right around you! There we go! Because I like, wait a minute. Did I go right around you again? Of course I did. Oh, I love this music. It's the Mass Effect theme music. Ah! Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I need to get through there. I, I need. I need. Gosh darn it. I need to get through there. What's happening? It's a trap. Sarah must have set an ambush. I, I don't, don't think, think Saren's behind us. I was like, I don't think that's it, but let's go onwards anyway. Um, oh, button. <coughs> that is a lot of pods. If this were simply an automated trap, Saren would have triggered it. What do you think this is? Whatever it is, we should be careful. Yes, we should, Garrus. Yes, we should. Wow. Hi, Vigil! How are you? You are not Prothean, but you are not machine either. This eventuality was one of many that was anticipated. This is why we sent our warning through the beacons. Well, I can't like understand some kind it. Of VI program. Pretty badly damaged. I do not sense the taint of indoctrination upon any of you. Good. Unlike the other that passed recently. Perhaps there is still hope. Wait a minute. How come I can understand you? Why aren't you speaking the Prothean language? I have been monitoring your communication since you arrived at this facility. I have translated my output into a format you will comprehend. Cause that's how science My works. name is Vigil. You are safe here for the moment, but that is likely to change. Soon, nowhere will be safe. What are you? 
Are you some kind of artificial intelligence program? I am an advanced non-organic analysis system, with personality imprints from Kesad Aishan, chief overseer of the Ilos research facility. What do you want? Why did you bring me here? You must break a cycle that has continued for millions of years. Of course But I to did. stop it, you must understand, or you will make the same mistakes we did. The Citadel is the heart of your civilization and the seat of government, as it was with us and as it has been with every civilization that came before us. But the Citadel is a trap. The station is actually an enormous mass relay, really? one that links to dark space the empty void beyond the galaxy's horizon. When the Citadel Relay is activated, the Reapers will pour through, and all you know will be destroyed. How come nobody ever noticed the Citadel was an inactive that, mass relay? How come nobody noticed this? The Reapers are careful to keep the greatest secrets of the Citadel hidden. That is why they created a species of seemingly benign organic caretakers. The Keepers! The Keepers maintain the station's most basic functions. They enable any species that discovers the Citadel to use it without fully understanding the technology. Reliance on the Keepers ensures no other species will ever discover the Citadel's true nature. Not until the Relay is activated and the Reapers invade. Aha! I see. That's bad. How do the Reapers survive out in dark space? We have only theories. The researchers here came to believe the Reapers enter prolonged states of inactivity to conserve energy. This allows them to survive the thousands and thousands of years it takes for organic civilization to rebuild itself. But in this state, they are vulnerable. By retreating so beyond them, the right? edges of the galaxy, they ensure no one will accidentally discover them. They keep their existence hidden until the Citadel Relay is activated. The perfect trap. The Reapers can wipe out the Council and the entire Citadel fleet in a single surprise attack. That was our fate. Our leaders were dead before we even realized we were under attack. Oops. The Reapers seized control of the Citadel and through it the mass relays. Communication and transportation across our empire were crippled. Each star system was isolated, cut off from the others. Easy prey for the Reaper fleets. Over the next decades, the Reapers systematically obliterated our people. World by world, system by system, they methodically wiped us out. All of you? Well, there's one. Some of you must Jobbik. have managed to survive. Through the Citadel, the Reapers had access to all our records, maps, census data. Information is power and they knew everything about us. Their fleets advanced across every settled region of the galaxy. Some worlds were utterly destroyed. Others were conquered, their populations enslaved. These indoctrinated servants became sleeper agents under Reaper control. Taken in as refugees by other Protheans, they betrayed them to the machines. Within a few centuries, the Reapers had killed or enslaved every Prothean in the galaxy. They were relentless, brutal, and absolutely thorough. Um, why did the Reapers leave? I don't understand. Where did the Reapers go after they conquered your people? Well, back to Dark Space, obviously. Our worlds were stripped bare, harvested by the indoctrinated slaves. Everything of value, all resources, all technology was taken. Certain that all advanced organic life had been extinguished, the Reapers retreated back through the Citadel Relay into Dark Space, sealing it behind them. All evidence of the Reaper invasion had been wiped away. Only their indoctrinated slaves were left behind, abandoned. Mindless husks, no longer capable of independent thought, the indoctrinated soon starved or died of exposure. The genocide of the Protheans was complete. Well, they mostly took most of them made them into uh, collectors and stuff, but... What do the Reapers get out of this? Why do they keep repeating this pattern of genocide over and over? The Reapers are alien unknowable. Perhaps they need slaves or resources. More likely they are driven by motives and goals organic beings cannot hope to comprehend. Until In the best end, three. what does it matter? Your survival depends on stopping them, not in understanding them. Oh, how can 
can I stop him then? You said you brought me here for a reason. Tell me what I need to do. The conduit is the key. Before the Reapers attacked, we Protheans were on the cusp of unlocking the mysteries behind mass relay technology. Aha! Ilos so was a top it. secret facility. Here, researchers worked to create a small scale version of a mass relay. One that linked directly to the Citadel, the hub of the relay network. Conduit's not a weapon, it's a backdoor onto the Citadel. Aha! Go on! What happened next? We severed all communication with the outside and our facility went dark. The personnel retreated underground into these archives. To conserve resources, everyone was put into cryogenic stasis. I was programmed to monitor the facility and wake the staff when the danger had passed. But the genocide of an entire species is a long, slow process. Years oh, passed, decades, centuries. The Reapers persisted, and my energy reserves were dwindling. So what did you do? How did you survive? It ate them! I began to disable the life support of non-essential personnel. First support staff, then security. One by one, their pods were shut down to conserve energy. Eventually, only the stasis pods of the top scientists remained active. Even these were in danger of failing when the Reapers finally retreated back through the Citadel relay. There were hundreds of stasis pods out there. You just shut them down? You killed them? You betrayed them! You were programmed to protect them, not kill them. This outcome was not completely unforeseen. My actions were a result of contingency programming entered on my creation. I bet they didn't tell the non-essential staff about this contingency. Yeah, probably I saved not. key personnel. When the Reapers retreated, the top researchers were still alive. My actions are the only reason any hope remains. When the researchers woke, they realized the Prothean species was doomed. There were only a dozen individuals left, far too few to sustain a viable population. Yet they vowed to find some way to stop the Reapers from returning. A way to break the cycle forever. And they knew the Keepers were the key. Uh, the Keepers? Aren't they under the influence of the Reapers? The Obviously. Keepers are controlled by the Citadel. Before each invasion, a signal is sent through the station compelling the Keepers to activate the Citadel Relay. After decades so of feverish study, the scientists discovered a way to alter this signal. Using the conduit, they gained access to the Citadel and made the modifications. This time, when Sovereign sent the signal to the Citadel, the Keepers ignored it. The Reapers are trapped in dark space. Aha, unless Saren succeeds and fixes the signal. Saren can use the conduit to bypass all the Citadel's external defenses. Correct. And once inside, he can transfer control of the station to Sovereign. Sovereign will override the Citadel systems and manually open the relay. And the cycle of extinction will begin again. Uh, not this time! I'll take Sovereign down. Somehow. Damn straight we will. There's a data file in my console. Take a copy when you go. When you reach the Citadel's master control unit, upload it to the station. It will corrupt the Citadel's security protocols and give you temporary control of the station. It might give you a chance against Sovereign. Wait, where's the Citadel's master control unit? Uh... I've never heard of anything like that. Through the conduit, follow Saren. He will lead you to your destination. Uh, Sovereign. If the Reapers are trapped in dark space, how did Sovereign get here? It is logical Magic. to assume the Reapers would leave one of their own behind after each extinction. A sentinel to pave the way for their inevitable return. Like those in dark space, Sovereign probably spent most of the last 50,000 years in a state of hibernation. Periodically, it would wake to analyze the situation. Keeping its existence hidden, it would evaluate the state of galactic civilization. And when the time was right, it would signal the Citadel and usher in the next Reaper invasion. Oh, these guys look like they got But this cool time technology. the signal failed. The Let's Keepers did not respond. Sovereign's allies were trapped in the void. Alone, it was forced to try and discover what had gone wrong. They could just attack? Sovereign's the largest ship in the galaxy. Why all this secret? Why not just attack the Citadel? Sovereign is not invincible. 
Revealing its true nature would have united the forces of every organic species against it. Even a reaper couldn't survive such odds. One but the reaper reapers are patient. Back. They will not rush into the unknown. Sovereign could have been planning this for centuries, moving deliberately, gathering allies. Slowly, it has assembled the pieces of the puzzle, working through agents to keep itself hidden. And then Sovereign is the born. most visible pawn of the Reapers, but I doubt he was the first. Now Sovereign has grown bold. Whether from confidence or desperation, I cannot say. But it is determined to reopen the portal to Dark Space. Okay, um, beacons! What about the beacon on Eden Prime? So much talking in this episode! Blah, 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 blah. At our apex, the beacons span the breadth of our empire. We use them as a single galaxy-wide network to transmit data and communications rapidly from world to world. Virtually all the beacons were destroyed during the invasion, but once the Reapers were gone, the survivors here on Ilos decided to risk sending out a message. We knew it was unlikely there were other survivors, but if there were, we wanted them to know about Ilos. We wanted to give them hope, so a message was sent across the network. Quite the risk! You could have exposed yourself to the Reapers. In truth, we didn't expect any of the beacons would still function, but we had to try. If there were survivors, we had to reach them. And then I just got The message was meant for our own people. It was coded so only organic beings could interpret it. We still didn't understand the power of Reaper indoctrination. We never realized it could lead an agent of the machines, like Saren, to this world. But it has also led you here. So perhaps we did not fail after all. Aww, Keepers. So when the Reapers created the Citadel, they created the Keepers as well? I've been here well? for like 15 minutes. A more minutes. likely scenario is that the so Keepers were one of the, the early Citadel harvested civilizations. Perhaps the very first. Perhaps they responded well to indoctrination. Or the Reapers simply bred them to be obedient. In any case, they were left behind to operate and maintain the Citadel. But the Keepers are no longer directly controlled by Sovereign or its ilk. They evolved so that they only respond to the signals emitted by the Citadel itself. When the Protheans altered the Citadel signals, they broke Sovereign's hold over the Keepers. Now, they are completely harmless. This explains the gas! Sovereign must have realized organic races were difficult to control. A likely hypothesis. The Keepers evolved in an unanticipated direction. Non-organic servants like the Geth would be more predictable. Uh, Protheus scientists. What happened to the survivors from the Conduit Project? They used the Conduit to gain access to the Citadel. But the Conduit is only a prototype. The portal only links in one direction, so they were trapped on the station. They died. I do not know what became of them then. It is unlikely they found any food or water on the station. I fear they suffered a slow, grim death. I only know they succeeded in their mission to seal the relay. Your presence here proves their sacrifice was not in vain. Well, that kind of sucks. Let's move! Saren's got enough of a head start. Did you don't say? And let's go. The one you call Saren has not reached the conduit. Not yet. Really? After 15 minutes? There is still hope if you hurry. Bye, Vigil. Okay, let's go. Then we're gonna go to the conduit. After that long exposition. And more elevator slime. Elevator. Elevator. It's tragic. For all their great achievements, the Protheans lost everything, just like my people. Even though kind of, Tully. The Protheans did not fail. They gave us a chance. It falls to us to make the most of it. So I suggest we hurry. I get you there. Oh, now I've got pickups. That's bad. I get you there, Garrus. It's... Gosh darn it. Can't commentate, but I've got hiccups. I just flipped the Mako. I just flipped the Mako! Ha 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 ha! Okay, I guess. 
I gotta hold my breath for a minute. Try and get rid of the hiccups. I'm gonna start turning blue or something. I wonder how long I can hold my breath like this. Especially because I'm trying to talk with it with my remaining hair supply. <sighs> okay. <laughs> Hopefully they got rid of the hiccups. Because that's the last thing I want to do while I'm recording is be hiccup- Hiccuping all over the place! Bonk. Um. Um. Ah! Uh, ah! Uh, off, 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 please. Thank you. Oh. Oh, hi there. Now stay away from me. It's like, no, stay away from me! Hello, Mr. Colossi. That's right for me. Bonk. Aw, you're so cute. You think you think you can? Yeah, I was like, you think you can hit me? You're you're funny. Blow them up. Run over this guy. And God. Still got pickups though. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. To the conduit. I bet I don't have any NOS or anything on the make, like it just. Oh. Gosh darn hiccups! Oh! That helped, maybe. I hope. We're in the end of the game, we're not supposed to be having hiccups. Hi guys! <laughs> Hi guys! Bye. You know, I'm almost out of shielding on this thing. That could be bad. Oh wait, whoa, 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 whoa. That's a conduit. That is a conduit. That is a conduit. Let's manual save. That seems like a good thing to do right now. <coughs> Especially because I haven't had an auto save in a little bit of a while. I don't have to go through all of that again. Including talking to Vigil. Okay. There. The conduit. <laughs> It's incredible. Yep. We don't have time to admire <clears throat> the view. We have to get no to the time. relay, and these geth aren't gonna make it easy on us. Okay. Uh. Um. Oh, the beginning on the ta of the attack on the Citadel. Hi, Sovereign. How are you? <laughs> you know, the geth kind of look like Reaper ships. Now that I think about it. Yeah, you guys are in a bit of trouble. BT dubs. Oh. GG. Activate the defenses, seal the station. The arms aren't moving. Systems not responding. Yep. Abandon the citadel. Because, that because the Saren. Council. Control. Not Sit gonna work. Control. Do you copy? Nope, because they have reached the citadel. Let's go. Conduit's closing. I do not have the uh, stuff for this. Hang on, on. Let's go. Things are gonna get a little rough. You don't say. I'm only dying, like, really badly. Already dying really badly. Come on. Come on, am I gonna make this on the first try? Damn it! I thought I was gonna make it on the first try.
try. Be right back. Okay, let's try this again. Got full shields this time. We're gonna have to be a little bit more dodgy. <clears throat> this time. Hang on. Things are gonna get a little rough. You don't say. I just gotta not get hit by these beams. Like I just did. You are not getting me this time. You are not getting me because I am going into this right here. Booyah. To the Citadel. Loading screen. Of course there's a loading screen. There's always a loading screen. The bane of my existence. In the long loading screen. These games like Haunted Ground didn't have loading screens, you just had the loading screen like once or twice in the entire game. And even then you just had, it was mostly when you started up and loaded the game. Because it loaded as it went. Critical failures detected across all <coughs> monitored systems. You don't say, Amina. Please begin emergency <coughs> evacuation. Also, the end of this video, guys. My name is Miss Carla Tanager, and I am playing some Mass Effect. I'll see you all in the next video.